Hey, what's up, hood folks? <laughs> this is Jeremy, and it's now time for this week's top five. I couldn't believe that I got a few people to hit me up and say, Jeremy, I like your video you made about uh, <clears throat> why you getting cheated on, but why would you make a video on why you still single or why people are still single? And I'm like, man. <laughs> What kind of fuck shit is this? Y'all want me to make a video on why you still single? You ain't giving up no pussy. That's why you single, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Damn. Anyway, so I'm going to count down Hollywood's top five reasons why you don't have a man, why you ain't got no woman. You feel me? You ready to slide into this top five, motherfucker? Number five. You too fucking picky. I mean, every time you ask somebody, why am I single or why are you still single? Everybody always tell you, you too picky. But you too picky about stuff that could be changed about a person. Stuff that's irrelevant. It, for an example, let's say you, you like big boys. And I'm a big boy. Let's say I came out to meet you on a date, right? And you see me and I come out and I'm dressed up and I got on a new outfit, new everything, a fresh haircut. PSA, I fucking hate haircuts. I need one, though. Anyway, and you come and meet me, and when I get out, you start talking to me, and the first thing, you're like, oh, my goodness. He cute. He look good. He funny, whatever, but his teeth fucked up. I already told you I know my teeth fucked up. I'm not ashamed of that, and they'll get fixed one day because going to the dentist is a fucking pain in the ass. Who like going to the dentist with their mouth? God, gag back nobody. But anyway, for real, for real. So, let's say you meet me, and... You see my teeth fucked up. And oh, now nah, I'm not going to go with him because he got fucked up teeth. That's shallow. That's petty. That's stupid as fuck. You trip over stuff that can be changed. Or you, a guy, you meet a girl and she got, you know, <clears throat> she got acne on her face. Or she driving a Toyota camera, 1992 Toyota camera, some shit like that. Like, what the fuck? You can change that. Stop being so petty. Stop being so stupid on some stupid shit like, oh, man, I don't want to go with her. She, You know, she like the Dallas Cowboy. I don't want to go with him. He watch too much sport. The fuck? That ain't nothing. Like, stuff you can change about people and you let that cause you to be single? Bitch, are you tired of being single yet? So that's number five. You too petty. Number four. You not over your ex. <laughs> How many times have you ever been out on a date with somebody, if you dating, and you ask them, so what happened in your last relationship? And they go on and on talking about their ex. And every time y'all hang out, they talking about their ex. And they talking about their ex. And then you might see them on the phone looking at their ex, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, whatever. You're not over your ex. You cannot go on to your next until you get over your motherfucking ex. Ooh, how the hell you get date? But for real, for real, how the fuck you gonna be in a relationship with somebody, start a new relationship with somebody, but all you do is keep bringing up your ex? All you're doing is thinking about your ex. What kind of shit is that? No, you will never get in another relationship until you get over the last one you was in. Speaking of ex, that's bring me to number three. You comparing to your ex. You ever meet somebody and then you just, oh, they don't do that like my ex. My ex used to go to go to Walmart and get my stuff for me. Or my ex-girlfriend, she used to get up and cook breakfast every morning. Or my ex used to do this. Ex. Stop comparing. Stop comparing your ex with your new person to your ex. Stop comparing them to different people. You know, oh, my new dude, he don't act like my daddy. Bitch, you want to be with your daddy? Go be with your daddy. Marry your daddy, you incest infested bitch. <laughs> But seriously, stop comparing people to people. Oh, I don't want to be with her. She ain't got no big ass like, you know, this girl. Or she don't got no big titties like this girl. She don't suck dick like... Oh, no, you ain't sucking no dick. You know you finna get cheated on. Go. You know you can cheat it on. But now, see... <laughs> but seriously, they don't do what my daddy do. They don't do what my mama do. They don't do what my sister do. Ooh, I wish they were like my coworker. Stop fucking comparing people to people. Stop doing that comparison shit. When you compare somebody to somebody, you end up by your fucking self. Cause don't nobody want to be compared to nobody. Number two, you have a bad reputation. You might have a bad, you might have an attitude that's bad. You might have ways that bad. You might be a hoe. How the fuck you gonna be a person that fuck the entire community and then expect to start a relationship with another dude or another lady? That ain't it. Everybody know you cheat. Everybody know you you cheat like cheat and you cheat. You don't want to spend no money and you fucking everybody. You cheat and you cheat. <laughs> 
You're a liar. You steal. You beat up your women. You you cheat on your man. You use your man. You just a fucking got a badass reputation. You a hoe. Who the fuck want to be in a relationship with you? Even if you move to a new town where nobody know you at all, nobody know you at all, and you go to the new town and you build a reputation for being <clears throat> a bitch, being a stupid ass, being a user, a manipulator, all that kind of shit. Don't nobody want that. Don't nobody want to be in no relationship with a bad reputation having motherfucker. So that's the second reason why you stay a singer. Clean up your reputation. Clean up your background. I know you said, well, that's the pad that's the pad. Now, I'm not talking to people that have a bad reputation. A had. Had is past tense. You used to be a certain way, but you done changed. Now, if you done changed, this shit don't apply to you. But if you got a bad reputation and you still holding on to that reputation, that's a big reason why you still single in this mother. Fucker. The number one reason why you, not me, but the number one reason why you still single is you expect too much when you ain't shit your damn self. <laughs> Let me say that shit one more time. You expect too much when you ain't shit your damn self. <laughs> you ever met a girl and you know she expect a man to have a whole lot of money, a big on dick, a six pack, you know, be cute and sex as fuck, you know, do whatever she say, but you see her, she ain't never gonna slop bucket her fucking self like, bitch, what the fuck? You know, this bitch ain't got no fucking good credit. This bitch don't even know how to spell her name in cursor. <clears throat> she got a big ass, that, that, I'm just saying, she got a big ass gut, but if you got a gut, that's still sexy too. But let's say you look a fucking mess. Every time you go out somewhere, you looking a fucking mess. You ain't dressing by shit, or you ain't hitting on shit yourself. You ain't got no money your damn self. How the fuck you expect a dude to come up and have all this shit, but you ain't shit your damn self? Or, you might be a lady, and <clears throat> I'm in a fella, and you might like, shit, this bitch, she better have a big ass. She better have, you know, some big on titties. She, she better know how to suck dick, and she better not do all this stuff. Man, you, and look at you. You ain't got no job. You still living at home with your mama. Your dick game ain't hitting on shit. Ain't nobody trying to fuck you for real, because you got a punk ass dick. You can't fuck. Your tongue game ain't shit. Holly, let's talk about everybody. So, hey, I'm bringing all this shit up. So you ain't buy shit, you a user, you ain't, you got some fucked up ass ways about yourself, but you expect a woman to have all these traits and characteristics about herself and these good things about her, but you ain't hitting no shit your damn self. What kind of fuck shit is that? Yes, that's the reason why you stay a single. You expect too much out of people and you ain't hitting no shit your damn self. Fuck that. All right, hood folks, that's it. Those are the top five reasons why you stay a single Change some shit about yourself and you'll meet somebody, all right? Anyway, that's your top motherfucking five for this week. And I'll see y'all back next week on this motherfucker. If you have any more suggestions for top five you want me to do, just leave it in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Text me. Well, no, nah, don't text me because I ain't getting you my motherfucking number. <laughs> and I'll see y'all back next week. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. Share my videos. God Damn, what I gotta do to get a fucking view? Do I gotta get naked in this mother... Fuck! Want me to get naked, huh? <laughs> do you need me to take this shit out and get naked and y'all gonna start watching the video? Do I gotta show my big black shitty ass? <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all motherfuckers. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hood folks in this motherfucker! Yeah.